All right, so now what I'm going to do is transfer this all back to Maya. First, clear the mask. Lower down the mesh. Let's build some displacement. Okay. Also, while I'm here, maybe a normal map. Good. Okay. So now, um, all I do is have to hit really go Z. To see this, what I'm going to do is go back to high quality rendering. And hit delete. I think there's two balls sitting on top of each other. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Had me worried for a second there. I was like, no, oh, I messed it up. So there we go. I have a different <laughs> high res texture. I got this high res texture. If I want to put the part back together, I, I can. There's no problem with that. Um, I can just go in here and merge edge tool if I wanted to. And it'd be easier to do that in one. So first I have to go back to object mode. Get it back to the real-time non-smoothing. Uh, Merge edge tool. The only thing weird about this is, you know, the, the UVs, even though they look good here, probably won't make too much sense on the other end. So hopefully uh, by putting these edges back together, it doesn't mess up the UVs. Okay, so let's look at the UVs to see. Ooh, yeah. Nope. Pretty good. All right, so that is how you do it. Um, just a quick little uh, kind of workflow that allows you to do a little bit more uh, different things. Like if you had a if you had a shirt or um, a flak jacket or something like that, and you needed some kind of different lighter texture in one area, you can just apply an edge loop around that area, highlight that area and then detach component and then bring it back into Z, ZBrush using GoZ, apply that texture and then bring it back. So it's all how you use what I just showed you. Uh, there's many applications, but uh, to be smooth about it, I just wanted to put it on a ball. All right, so have a good one and until next lesson.